Star Wars Jedi Survivor is a very character focused game, which makes it a fitting second chapter in the overall story of Cal Kestis. The title itself, that being Survivor, is a very subtle yet telling theme that every character in this story has to confront along their own path. Welcome to the dissection of Jedi Survivor. Hello there everyone and welcome back to another dissection. I completed Jedi Survivor's story just about a few days ago as of me recording this video, so I have had quite some time to process the journey that the crew of the Mantis embarked on, and I have got to say it was quite the roller coaster. Let's jump in. Look into the fire. It will warm you. Keep you company on dark, lonesome nights, yes? But left unchecked. It will consume everything in its path until there is only ash. In Jedi Fallen Order, we follow Cal Kestis' journey of self-discovery as he finds his way in a post-Order 66 galaxy. He is literally a survivor of the Purge, so going into Jedi Survivor, my initial thoughts were that the narrative was going to focus on Cal's internal fight of overcoming all the immense loss he went through. And boy was I wrong. I honestly thought maybe Survivor was going to be about this parallel between Dagon and Cal going back and forth between how to confront the Empire because in the trailer Dagon says how could you let this Empire destroy the Order. So those were my initial thoughts and what I got was completely different which isn't a bad thing. The first mission of the game takes place on Coruscant you know, the capital of the Galactic Empire. Rather than focusing on Cal running from the Empire and trying to stay alive, we see that he has been up to quite the opposite, taking the fight directly to the heart of the Empire. Cal's whole purpose is to inspire others to fight and not give up who they are because the Empire has already taken so much from them. You see, from the get-go, Jedi Survivor's theme isn't literally about surviving. It's about keeping who you are alive. Let me elaborate some more. After the Coruscant heist, Cal heads to Kobo and pays a visit to his old shipmate, Grease. Cal is excited and ready to get the gang back together, whereas Grease is reluctant and happy where he is at, being a simple saloon keeper. Grease even says, And where's that gotten you, Cal? I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down, find a home. Cal is disappointed by Grease's response and continues forward nonetheless. The Empire took away his family during the Purge, and now they took away his Mantis family. It may have been indirectly, but them splitting up was a direct result of the Empire. If the Empire didn't exist, the Mantis wouldn't have split up, most likely. Things haven't been the same since they split up, as Cal says, and feels that a part of himself is missing. Fast forward to about halfway through the story, the crew of the Mantis is finally back together again, and you can see that in Cal's mood. His entire demeanor lifts and changes. He feels whole once more and that's because the part of him craving his friends and family was brought back to life and allowed Cal to return from a place in which there was no return. More on that later. I brought up the Mantis family being an integral part of the theme of Survivor for two crucial reasons. One, because that part of Cal that came back once everyone was reunited is what made Cal whole. It was a major part of him that did not want to give up the fight against the Empire, which is who he is as a person. He does not want the Empire to take away what little of him remains. Now the second reason is far more important. Without the Mantis reunion, Kestis would have been lost to the dark side, which ultimately would have killed every part of what makes Cal. Cal. Towards the end of the game, Bode betrays Cal by killing Master Cordova and bringing the Empire straight to their secret hideaway on Jetta. This ultimately leaves Cal without the compass to get to Tantalor and two of his mentors, 
dead. Cal learns that Boat has been working with the Empire ever since the beginning because he cut a deal with them, and once again, more on that later. All of this is enough for Cal to tap into the dark side and use his anger and despair of Bode's betrayal while hunting him down at the ISB base. If not for Marin's presence, Cal probably would have killed Denvik, the ISB officer who secretly cut a deal with Bode to protect his daughter. Without the Mantis reunion, Cal would not have been reunited with Marin and subsequently would have embraced the darkness. You think yourself a survivor, but you are a failure! They haven't beaten us. Not yet. Now who is blinded by the past? Although the main protagonist and Jedi survivor is Cal Kestis, the main antagonist, Dagon Gera, is equally as pivotal to the theme of Survivor. Dagon literally survived his conflict on Tantalor via being stored in a Bacta tank, but he did not survive his ambitions. Cal and Dagon are two sides of the same coin, driven by their ambitions. However, what separates them is that Dagon strayed from the path whereas Cal stayed on it. Cal is willing to see he is straying from the path and he has family there to help guide him back. Dagon did not, and there is always that what if that will linger on, much like Anakin Skywalker. Between the conflict of Cal and Dagon, many of the side characters' own personal battles are caught in between their duels. One such character is Bode, who betrayed Cal and strayed from his Jedi path in order to protect his daughter. Bode was willing to let everyone suffer in order to save one person, whereas Cal is willing to let go of one person in order to save many more. There is a common phrase about the difference between a hero and a villain, which I think perfectly sums up the relationship between Cal and Bode. A hero will sacrifice you for the world, but a villain will sacrifice the world for you. There you all go, there is my dissection of Jedi Survivor's theme. I wanted to bring up more literal examples of the theme of Survivor, such as Marin outliving the Night Sisters and Seer conquering her darkness, but I felt that Dag and Cal and Bode were the real discussion here. Their destinies were intertwined. Marin served as Cal's crutch in a lot of ways, considering her character is much more static than Cal, which is not a bad thing at all. Sometimes, a static character really helps a more dynamic character grow, or vice versa. Without Marin, Cal would have strayed from the path. As she tells Cal, I know you are in pain, but this is not you! The Empire has taken enough from us! I will not lose you too! Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked this and want to see more dissections, please like, subscribe, and tell me what was your favorite moment from Jedi Survivor down below. If I missed anything, discuss down in the comments, and with all that being said, I will see you all in a galaxy far, far away. Subscribe to Zang Helios for some more. Ah, uh, freaking believable content.